Hello and welcome to Between Two Cities in about three minutes. It is a game for one to seven players. There is a solo mode. Playing time is under 30 minutes. It's a relatively simple game. In this game, you will work with two other players, seated to your left and right, and collaborate with them to build the two best cities that you can. You will take turns placing regions in each city until the city is complete. You will need to balance your cities and not focus on one too much, as the winner is determined by your lowest scoring city. The game ends when all players have placed 16 different buildings in a 4x4 grid. Then you score points based on how the buildings are placed. Some examples of scoring are that yellow buildings score more points if they are placed in a straight line, and red buildings score more if you can collect the whole set of four of them. Each different tile type has its own scoring rules. Each city is scored, and the winner is the person whose lowest scoring city scored the most points. Competitive. While you are working to build cities with people, there is still only one winner. Tile placement. How your tiles in the city are placed has an impact on your final score. Set collection. Tiles work best when you collect groups of them. Player turn. At the start of the game, you will receive seven tiles and have a city marker either side of you. You will be building a city with a person on your left and on your right. So Pip Girl will be building this city with Gizmo and this city with Macho Man Randy Savage, while Macho Man and Gizmo will build the third city together. Each turn, you'll select two tiles and pass the remaining along to the next player. Once you have selected your two tiles, you must place one in each city. This is when you need to talk to your neighbors about what they have picked and come up with an ideal place to put each tile. Your choices are your own, but working well with your neighbor will help you both. Once you have placed three tiles in each city, you then discard your final tile and get three of the double-sized tiles. You choose two and place one in each city. You then get another seven tiles and repeat the first three rounds, passing the tiles the other way. The game ends as soon as your last tile is placed and you immediately score each city. Why would you like this game? Between Two Cities is a feel-good game. All the interactions you have are collaborative and positive. There's no incentive to play negatively, and even if you lose this game, you will still have a good time interacting with your neighbors. It's also a simple game that is really easy to teach. And if you have brand new players, you can sit them by experienced ones who can help coach them through the game. And veteran players have an incentive for the new players to do well. It's kid friendly and perfect for families. And there is enough going on to keep serious gamers thinking, especially if you add in the expansion with the extra rules and tiles. The best thing about the game is it scales up to seven players with no additional game time and no additional difficulty to the rules. However, as good as it is, it is still just a filler game and a gateway game, so don't expect it to be anything more than a fun activity for about 20 minutes. And winning the game is highly dependent on who you are teamed up with. One poor decision can be the difference between first and last place in this game. If you want a deeper competitive city building game, try Suburbia. And if you want another family friendly building game, check out Dream Home. If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and check out our Patreon.